If you found this video, you're probably trying to increase your FPS in Minecraft and trying to make your game run better with Optifine. As you can see, right now my FPS are hovering over the 20, 30. It really depends where you are adding the game. As you can see, if I start running using the first person view, the FPS drops even more. So I'm about to show you how to increase that and hopefully get some crazy number that you never even dream of. And before we go ahead and change the configuration for Optifine, I do have to let you know that the result might be different for everybody. It really depends on your computer and stuff, but hopefully everyone should be happy after watching this video video. Let's go ahead and start messing with the configurations. The first thing you want to do is obviously click escape and then go to options. Once in here, go ahead and click on video settings. Once in video settings, I want you to go to other first. And once in here, go ahead and click reset video settings. And that is going to put our Optifine by default. And then we're going to start messing with it once it's by default. Just go ahead and click yes and give it a second to load because depending on the settings you already had, it might take longer or it might take less. So you can see now it has restarted the settings and let's go ahead and see what it put us at and we're going to go from there. Once your settings are restarted, go ahead and click done and then come back here to this menu. Now, once in this menu, this is where everything starts changing. The first thing you want to do is find this graphics tab right here on the top left and change it from fancy to fast. Just click on it until you see fast in there. Once you have fast in there, go ahead and move down to smooth lighting and go ahead and turn it off. Just click on it until it's off. Then grab our smooth lighting level. Since we already turned it off, we're going to get it down to 0% or pretty much off. From there, we're gonna move down. We're gonna leave GUI scale as it is. And in brightness where it says moody, we're gonna get it all the way up to bright. Once we have bright on, we're gonna go to dynamic lights and we're gonna make sure they are on fast. Just move it from off to fast because that is kind of pretty useful to have on. So I wouldn't recommend to have it off. If after we do every single step, your game is not running fast enough, then you could come here and turn dynamic lights back to off. However, we're gonna put it in fast because I do think dynamic lights are still pretty useful in the game. Now, obviously we're not gonna put any shaders as of now because, well, we're trying to make the game run better. However, if by the end of this tutorial, you have some crazy FPS number, like a thousand FPS, then you could probably still add some shaders that are like low quality shaders or shaders that have minimum requirements to run. Anyways, from there, we're going to go down to details. And in here, it's very important that you pay attention and you follow along. The first thing you want to do is turn clouds off by just clicking on it and putting off just like that. And then on the trees option, we're going to put it on fast just like that. Then we're going to go to sky and we're going to put no or off. Then the sun and moon, we're going to put off as well. I mean, those really don't affect that much, but I'm still going to put it off just in case. The fog, obviously, we're going to put it off. And now this little option in here called view bobbing, we're going to leave it as it is on on. And then we're going to move down to auto save indicator, which we're also going to leave as on because that really doesn't affect your gameplay. And then this last option in here, I don't even know how to pronounce this word, the vignette. Well, however you pronounce it, you're just going to click on it until it says fast. Then we're going to go lower our entity distance to 50%, just like that. And we're going to move up here where we're going to leave the cloud height obviously on off it doesn't really matter because we have clouds already off so it doesn't really make a difference from there we're gonna turn off rain and snow we're gonna put it on off not even fast just off on the stars obviously we're gonna put it off uh show capes we're gonna put it off as well fog start we're gonna leave it as it is just on point a because it doesn't affect it anymore as we have fog already off health item tooltips now that one you could leave it as on it doesn't really make a difference it doesn't affect your fps uh swamp colors we're gonna leave that as off we're gonna turn it off and then the alternate blocks we're gonna put it on off and also where it says biome blend we're gonna turn it down to the fastest we're gonna turn it off to the fastest okay so just drag the bar down then click on done and we're gonna head now to animations we were just on details now go to animations here in the animation settings we're gonna go to water animated and we're gonna put it off we're gonna put fire animated as off we're gonna put redstone animated as off flame animated as off this one as off actually let me just save you a little bit of time and go ahead and click on all off because that's pretty much what we're gonna do just click on all off and then click on done once you have all off in animations you're gonna go ahead and lower your render distance your simulation distance and i'm gonna tell you about the fps right now so just go ahead and lower that okay so i know two chunks is not a lot this is something that you could later on play with after we are done setting up optifine you could kind of increase your render distance maybe a little bit more if you're not happy with the results. However, we're trying to get the most out of Optifine, trying to get the highest FPS possible. So that is why we're gonna put it on two chunks right now and five chunks for the simulation distance. Now for the max frame rate, that is something that is really up to you. It depends really on how many FPS you're able to see on your computer. It really depends on how fast your monitor is able to load things. My monitor refreshes at 144 Hertz, meaning that I'm able to see up to 144 FPS if I go up here 
put it on 144, 45. But some monitors are only 60 FPS. Some others are 120. It really depends on your monitor. If you don't know what your monitor FPS is or hurts, you can put it on VSync. So put it on the lowest. If that doesn't work, however, I do recommend that then you put it on the max. Just go all the way to the top and put it on unlimited. At the end of the day, we're just trying to get the smoothest FPS possible. So unlimited will probably do it for you. Then once you have that set up, go ahead and move down to entity shadow. Obviously, we're going to turn that off. Just click on it. Then where it says attack indicator as crosser, you can leave it as it is. That doesn't affect your FPS. The dynamic FOV, we're actually going to leave on. And then from there, we're going to click on quality. Just go ahead and open your quality menu. And just before we keep going, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server that is open 24 seven, that you could play with your friends on Java or Bedrock, Apex Hosting is here for you, offering 25% off for those of you that use the first link in the description right now to get your first server with Apex Hosting. One thing that I really like about Apex Hosting, besides the servers running really, really smooth, Smooth, is that you could access the server console through your phone, which I think is amazing. So remember, first link in the description, 25% off with Apex Hosting. And let's keep going. Here in quality, the first thing is moving the minimap levels to the minimum, just off pretty much. Let it load. As you can see, it's actually loading right now. Just give it a second. Then we're going to leave the filtering as off right here. We're going to turn emissive texture as off. Just click on it. Give it a second to load as well. And once it loaded, you're going to move to better grass, which by default should be off. If it's not, just turn it off. Custom fonts, we're actually going to turn it off as well. And connected texture as fancy, we're going to move it down to off. Just click on it until it's off. And give it a second. I, I know it might take a little bit to load for most things. Just give it time. We're trying to get the most FPS here and we have to be patient with our computers. Uh, custom skies, we're going to turn it off as well. Custom entity models, we're going to click it until it's off as well. Give it a second again to load. It might take a little bit and just be patient with all of these guys. Uh, minimap, we're going to leave it as nearest. If it's not in nearest, just move it down to nearest. The anti-aliasing, we're going to leave it as off. Random entities, we're going to turn it off. Just click on it as well to turn it off. And pretty much we're going to be turning off every setting in here. So better snow should be off. Custom colors, we're going to turn it off. Natural textures should be off. Custom items going to be off as well and let it load again i know there's a lot of loading and in custom guis we're going to turn it off as well okay that one didn't need to load and fov effects you can leave it as much as it is go ahead and click done and then move down to performance right below quality and in here instead of turning off things we're going to turn them on so go ahead and click rendered regions to turn it on and then click smart animations as well to turn it on smooth fps we're actually going to leave it off so just leave it off chunk updates we're going to leave it on one and lazy chunk loading we're going to leave off however on the other side the fast render we're going to turn on, fast math we're going to turn on, smooth world on, dynamic updates we're going to turn it on, and the chunk builder we're going to put it on fully blocking, uh, just like that, until it says fully blocking. And that is pretty much everything for the performance tab. Go ahead and click on other now. Obviously we're going to turn on the FPS because we want to see how much FPS we're getting now. And now in here, this is a big trick to increase your FPS, but before I do show you that big trick, I want to go back into the game and see how many FPS we're getting now. So you can see our FPS has increased dramatically i don't know how many we were getting at the beginning it was like 30 20 sometimes 40 60 but it doesn't really matter because now we're getting a thousand 600 fps as you can see in the top left that's already an amazing insane increase and i'm assuming that most of you now should have some crazy amount of fps you should be able to play minecraft pretty pretty smooth another trick that you could do if everything that we did didn't help you is just go back to the others menu in video settings go to the other menu and change the resolution on your full screen mode so maybe going down from 1920 times 1080 to maybe to maybe 1600 times 1024 even though your game might look a little bit smaller and stuff but your fps might increase tremendously if you go down resolution so that is pretty much the last trick to do if anything else is not working if everything that we did is not working you could just lower your resolution until you are happy with your fps i mean the lower you go obviously you could say the less quality that you're gonna have or the less play space that you might have right but the higher the fps i mean at this point my computer is not even affected anymore like we're already getting so many fps it's stupid like nobody needs a thousand six hundred fps to play minecraft with remember if you use the first link in the description you get 25 percent off your first server with the apex hosting and i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and a comment and as always bye bye